when, you know, when are conservatives going to stop picking on gay people? Newsbusters was bad to say that you're an openly gay writer. I don't approve of anyone sitting around calling Dick Cheney evil, whether you disagree with his policies sure. or not. I don't. I just don't think it's respectful. Here's what we're buzzing about at News Beast. Fallout over our conversation about Dick Cheney's heart transplant. Ramin, you caught a bit of uh, blowback from Newsbusters on this. What we are your did. Thoughts? We had a you know discussion on was it Monday? We were talking about Cheney's new heart, and we were a little silly. Essentially, you know, I don't think too many Americans support what Cheney did as vice president. Right, Do you but think that's, that's not okay. That, that's so, irrelevant to saying and that we he had doesn't deserve a hard a conversation. We had a conversation that may have you know been a little too silly, but Newsbusters came back and went into the fact that I was openly gay, and I think the point is when you know when are conservatives going to stop picking on gay people? Why is it okay to still say? you know, someone is gay as if that's something bad. And when is the Republican Party going to realize that that's not really a bad thing? Well, let, let, let's segment the two, because I, I think there was something pejorative about the mm -hmm. way they said it with an implication that, you know, look at the, all these openly gay writers running around, at, you know, this right. liberal, whatever. But, but first of all, let's, just talk, let's stay on the, on the point with Cheney, because I think at, at heart is a good point, right? I mean, if, if a conservative had been talking about Joe Biden getting a heart transplant and, and talking about rejecting it, you would have been outraged, right? I don't think so. Conservative would you have been said, offended? If you a conservative been... said, I wouldn't give my heart to Joe Biden, I probably would understand that. Really? You wouldn't think they're a little dickish? No. Really? I, mean, I think the problem is, and again, I don't support any comments. Anybody says you're openly gay in any kind of situation, talking about you're being a writer, it's ridiculous and it's homophobic in my opinion. But I think the point is, these are both bad stereotypes. Newsbusters was bad to say that you're an openly gay writer. I don't approve of anyone sitting around calling Dick Cheney evil, whether you disagree with his policies sure. or not. I don't. I just don't think it's respectful. I wouldn't say it about Joe Biden. I wouldn't say it about President Obama. I'm against this kind of rhetoric. And I think the problem is we're so polarized, it's both languages. It's like us sitting here in the liberal, beautiful Newsweek Daily Beast office, and it's newsbusters sitting around them, you know, stereotyping you and me and everyone else as well. I just hate the culture we live in now. I, I couldn't agree with Megan more, and it's not, not a surprise on this one. I mean, the, the point is, I think we need to start applying the same standards to ourselves. And, and you know, we say we're people were just joking around about you know Dick Cheney, you know, being evil and, and not getting a heart. But the problem is, is then here's, that. But I, here's hold the on, thing: but, Republicans but, do on, this let me, all let me, let me the time. If you watch Fox News, they okay. do this all the so time. So you just we're, made my oh, point. Everybody's you just guilty. made my point. Every, I mean, so this is the problem with their politics. They use an example like that as justification to accelerate and, and not police their own people. The problem is, and the reason why I think it's important to to start applying the same standards is to stop the cycle of incitement. Because otherwise, they use that clip as justification for anything anyone on their side does that demonizes Democrats. So it feeds into the larger problem. But Democrats yeah, exactly are always right. so weak when it comes to this. Republicans are so good at picking on Democrats and saying, look at how a little flap and, you know, the Republicans go after Democrats. Do you Democrats well, yeah. do it just as bad as Republicans. But I would but just we, like to say, we were but saying, the problem is right now, it's sure. implicating real things. Right now, the case that everyone is talking about all day long is the Trayvon Martin case. And it's like Republicans are scared to talk about the fact that if this were a white 17-year-old, there would that he would have been arrested, Zimmerman would have been arrested a long time ago. Look. Bottom line, I think we, we agree that somehow trying to pejoratively say you're openly gay is is irrelevant and, and absurd. But but on, on the point about calling Dick Cheney evil, I didn't call Dick Cheney. I didn't okay. call Dick Cheney evil. Okay, do, this is see this is exactly what well. Republicans do. This is great. This, this is exactly what, what they do. do. They mix what up Democrats the message. Do as well. I didn't call Dick Cheney evil. Okay, I'm not blaming. Go back and listen. Go <laughs> back and listen to the tape. I never called Dick Cheney okay, evil. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Do you apologize though for I mean the sense that this is adding to the problem and joking about someone getting a heart transplant and not wishing him well maybe We did the wish problem. him well. We well, did, did on news did you? wish him well. I don't under I don't think that our conversation was that out of line. Should we have been you as don't. silly? No, probably not. But in the grand scheme of things, I don't think what we said was all that you know, he has a Gallup approval rating of 30%. That, that he was a that, terrible vice relevant. president. He did horrible things for this country. I don't think our conversation was that out of line. In your opinion, he did terrible things yeah. to the country. And I'm not the biggest fan of Dick Cheney, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying that Democrats get away with so much more. President and Obama President Obama whispered about something to a you know the Russian that was, president. That was terrible. If, that, that was if awful. President Bush had done that, do you know how slaughtered he would All be right. in the media? There is a double standard I, I, across I, the board. And, and just because and, and, Dick Cheney was unpopular doesn't mean you should call him evil. If we don't start 
taking care of the double standard here, the cycle gets worse. And that's the, that's the problem. It's not about whether you disagree with someone, because obviously that's totally legitimate. It's when you start demonizing them and dehumanizing them. And I think we came close to I agree, to and I think the Republicans should stop picking on gay people. Please I, stop I agree picking with that. on gay people. I completely agree gay with Gay people that. are normal people, and Republicans need to find someone else to pick on. Stop bullying gay people. All right. Seriously. I, I think that's part of the conversation we're, that needs to be had. <laughs> it's all for us from Newsbeast right now. We'll talk to you later.